everyone and welcome to this video. So that time has come again, Stray Kids has announced a comeback which obviously I'm super excited for but I thought what better time than now to talk about pre-order benefits. Uh, this is just going to be kind of a discussion video, this isn't like a new thing that's come about, I just wanted to take the opportunity to talk about pre-order benefits and my personal opinions and thoughts on them as a collector um, and yeah I just thought it would be a fun thing to do, a bit different than just hauls and credit card videos and things like that. Um, so without further ado let's get on to talking about pre-order benefits. Obviously I'm going to try and keep this general but as a Strakers collector mainly um, that's where most of my <laughs> like opinions are going to be from so they'll probably re be referenced a lot. Pre-order benefits. If you've been living under a rock and don't know what pre-order be uh, pre benefits are then let me quickly explain that they are basically an exclusive thing or item that you'll get after pre-ordering a album or whatever piece of merchandise. Regular pre-order benefits have been a thing for a while now, for a few years, <laughs> um, which is basically anytime you pre-order an album for example you'll always get a certain pre-order benefit included, um, but in the past couple years store exclusive uh, pre-order benefits have been introduced and that's mainly what I'm going to be <laughs> discussing in this video uh, because they have gone kind of wild, uh, the amount of store exclusive pre-order benefits, which is when you order from a specific store and then you get a benefit from that store only. Uh, so if you were to ask me, just like in general, do I like pre-order benefits? I would actually answer yes, because as a collector I'm already planning on buying the albums and it's nice getting an extra little benefit for buying something I was already planning to buy. I think that's awesome for people who aren't collecting. I think that getting that extra thing is just a cool item and you can get really happy about that and all that stuff. However, the issue comes when it comes to collectors and obviously I'm a collector um, who used to want to try and buy everything that I possibly could for a specific member and when a album releases and you're getting 15 different store exclusive pre-order benefits it gets a little hard, it gets a little uh, daunting and it kind of ruins your joy of the collecting experience. I am a little bit of a completionist so there was a part of me that just wanted to get everything. If you guess that an album costs like $15, if there's 15 different pre-order benefits that's over $200 you're spending if you're not buying from resellers, if you're purely buying the albums, over $200 to try and complete a set of usually photo cards, sometimes postcards but it's, it's a lot of money <laughs> uh, for something small. And you could argue that with a lot of things, um, but it's just the, the amount that it's gone to is extremely excessive in my opinion. Um, and to be honest, as a collector, there was nothing I dreaded more than a comeback being announced when I wasn't financially prepared for it because of the amount of pre-order benefits. I wasn't worried ever about merch releases or announces, uh, announcements or tours or anything like that, but I was always worried about when a comeback was going to be announced purely because of the pre-order benefits and because I wanted to kind of try and get them all and yeah there's a reason why I recently have cut down on them because in the past so I've been collecting for about three years now and in the past year and a half I want to say there have been times I've considered stopping collecting and literally the only reason why is because of the pre-order benefits because I was worried I wouldn't be able to keep up with the pre-order benefits and that's just not fun in the collecting experience. <laughs> you don't want to be co constantly like trying to think, oh can I afford this, can I afford this? It's supposed to be something that brings fun and joy and it's just a nice little hobby on the side, not a oh my god what am I supposed to do when I can't, like when they announce 10 different things from all these different stores and that's not even including shipping and all that stuff. Recently, starting from uh, last comeback, I stopped getting all the pre-order benefits and not, uh, the amount of them wasn't the only reason why, but it's also because they've get, gotten kind of lazy, like, I mean you could argue in general that a pre-order benefit is a lazy way to uh, incentivize people to buy the album, um, <laughs> just because it's just like an extra piece of cardboard, like that's not going to be a huge cost and it already gets people to buy from multiple places and helps with sales and all that fun stuff, um, but if you look at what the actual photos are on the pre-order benef uh, pre benefits, they are really lazy recently at least uh, from a Stray Kids perspective. Like if you were to take all of the pre-order benefits uh, from InLife for example and then all of the ones from Ordinary and put them side by side, 
on ordinary there are so many duplicate like outfits and things whereas with in life almost all of them are completely unique or there's something different about them um which is why i don't see the need to buy things that look almost exactly the same <laughs> like of course some of them are hollow some of them have extra benefits and things but do i really need five of the same photo card i mean part of me says yes <laughs> but uh, my bank account says no so we aren't doing that anymore um and also a lot of the pre-order benefits look super similar to regular album donor cards which is like why would you spend the extra money to buy something you basically have already regularly i hope that makes sense <laughs> but yeah it's just it's gone it's gone too much and there's probably people watching this who are like just don't buy it don't collect it and yes obviously there is that argument and once again that is why i have cut down personally however as a collector you do have a completionist mindset uh there are definitely times you buy things that you don't necessarily like just to have a complete 100 percent collection um that's just the nature of collecting <laughs> but i think it's about finding the point for you where you like you draw the line you know <laughs> because so strikers as i said just announced this comeback and as of when i'm filming this i think there's 16 different pre-order benefits and that's not even including fan calls or i don't know all lucky draws all the other things that they announce but yeah i believe it's 16 at the moment which is insane it's insane <laughs> uh so yeah my personal rule now is to buy enough regular albums that i can complete ot8 and then if i want to buy other pre-order methods after re they release uh, and i've seen what they look like i will try and find them for a cheap price but there's a certain limit that i'm not happy paying over which uh i would say is roughly 15 pounds and that's like even that's a lot <laughs> like i i would preferably want it to be less than 10 <laughs> but yeah that's my personal thoughts and opinions on pre-order benefits. I hope this wasn't too rambly. Sometimes I get a bit rambly <laughs> and I hope it all made sense. But I'm curious to hear what other people think about pre-order benefits. Like, do you like them? Do you want them to stop like completely? Or do you just want them to lessen? They're never gonna lessen because obviously it's heightened sales and they're not gonna stop doing something that gives them more sales, both the stores and the, the companies themselves that, you know, have the artists. Um, I will say, one thing I can never be okay with, I'm okay with pre-order benefits for regular albums. Pre-order benefits, sorry, store exclusive pre-order benefits for merchandise, I, I, I'm i not okay with that. <laughs> that, that. That is just too much. Albums I can, I'm okay with because albums help with sales, obviously. They help with getting awards. They help with actual like paying the artists because artists don't actually get that much merch, um, get that much revenue from merch, but they get a lot more revenue from albums because they have more copy of more of the copyright and i will choose a way to support stray kids over jyp any day like i will choose the option that helps stray kids out more rather than jyp is what i'm trying to say <laughs> um so yeah that that's just too far in my opinion so yeah sorry this is a very rambly video there wasn't really a purpose of this i just kind of wanted to start the discussion of pre-order benefits and i'm just i'm just curious what other people think of them so feel free to let me know what your opinions are and I hope you enjoyed this rambly video. If you enjoyed this, I would gladly do some more of these on other topics and hopefully they'll be less rambly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have a couple ideas of ones I want to do, but for now, um, this will be it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stay happy, healthy, all that fun stuff and yeah, bye bye.